welcome back to the Blispian. It's now been more than a month since I got back from Europe. It definitely doesn't feel that way, but time flies. So from the middle of November to the middle of January, I spent two months in Europe, mostly in Spain and Portugal. I spent a significant amount of money there. And in this video, we're gonna figure out exactly how much money and exactly how I tracked how much I spent while I was traveling. I also made a little Google Sheets template out of the spreadsheet that I personally created for myself for this trip. So if you don't want to hear me talk and you just want the free resource, fine, it's in the description. Bye! But for the rest of you, let's talk money. So this was my very first solo trip and it was very much a learning experience for me in trying to like figure out what travel methods work best for me. I learned that I'm not a very spontaneous person and I prefer to do a lot of planning before a trip. I learned that traveling for long periods of time absolutely destroys my immune system. And most importantly, I was able to figure out a travel budgeting system that worked for me. So I already had a monthly budgeting system but it didn't really carry over that well to traveling and I just wanted something separate to only track what I was spending while I was on my trip. So the system I'm about to show you I only came up with about halfway through my trip. Up until then I was keeping a gigantic running list of every single expense that I was making but not really categorizing it in any way and not tracking how much I spent in each city that I was visiting. So let's get into it. So the first part of the spreadsheet that I started with as I said was just a simple running list of each purchase that I made the date, the category, the subcategory if I was feeling extra, and then how I paid for it. Just to clarify, the main reason that I was keeping track of how I paid for each expense is because the credit card that I was using while traveling is connected to my parents' bank account because they get much better cash back benefits than my credit card does. And so I needed to keep careful track of how much I was spending on that card specifically so that at the end of the trip, I could total all of that up and write out a check to them. So this was all going great and fine until the middle of December the data nerd inside of me started getting antsy and I was like, you know what? I have these categories, but I don't have the totals. So I really want to total up how much I spent on each category in each city. And so I did that. I love colors. So I went to my list of expenses and I highlighted by color what city those expenses were for. I highlighted pre-departure expenses like my travel insurance, backpack, money belt, raincoat. I highlighted all of those in gray, and then for each leg of the trip, I chose a different color. Transportation from one location to another, I left blank, and I'll show you why in a minute. So for example, my bus and flight tickets from Madrid to Germany, I did not label that as Madrid, nor as Germany, I just left those blank. For the most part, I did have solid chunks of like gray, purple, red, but sometimes I did make purchases in advance. For example, I booked my accommodations for Portugal while I was still in Madrid, so I had a little bit of green mixed in with the red but it's okay the point is that the colors make it really easy to go back and total everything up once you're trying to figure out how much you spent in each city then on a separate part of the spreadsheet I created a little tracker for each city I'm sure you could program this to transfer data automatically but pretty much the only coding I've ever learned in my life was basic HTML and CSS to customize my middle school blogger website so I did it manually but you know if you have the skills and you want to automate this please send them that to me I would really appreciate it so yeah for each city I created a table of that same color and I included all of the categories of spending then periodically like every few days I take the data from the running list and input it into the city tracker I did have a column for how much I plan to spend versus how much I actually spend but again I was just like learning how to travel on this trip so it was really hard for me to estimate because I just I didn't know how much it costs to travel what my personal spending habits were so I didn't use that column a whole lot but it was still a good way to like remind myself that I was trying not to spend all my money on this trip. Okay, so now remember the cost of transportation from city to city. That I would write in between the city trackers. So for example, to get to Germany, I had to buy a bus ticket and a plane ticket. So I added up the cost of that and then I put it right in between my tracker for Madrid and my tracker for Germany. I just did this because I couldn't think of any logical reason to put it with Madrid or Germany. So I felt like I would get super confused if I didn't just separate it 
it out completely. Now I want to talk a little bit about my specific expenses in Europe because a lot of people have asked me how much does it actually cost to travel in Europe, so I have a few key points to make. In Lisbon, I probably overspent. It was literally the first two to three days of my trip, the first two to three days that I've ever traveled by myself, so I was a little clueless. I took an Uber on my last day because I couldn't figure out the bus system. It was so confusing and I was worried I was gonna miss my flight. I tipped like $20 for a tour, which was a good tour, but maybe not like a $20 tour. I also loaded up my Metro card with a lot more rides than I actually needed, but that part worked out because I ended up visiting Lisbon a total of, I think, four times throughout my entire trip. And so by the time I finally took my final Metro ride in Lisbon, I had actually used up exactly the amount I had on the Metro card. So I spent very little in Madrid and honestly, I was surprised by this, but it makes sense because I spent all of my time with host families, so my food and my accommodations were covered and like, what else is there basically? I did eat out sometimes, but somehow I only spent a total of $60 on food, which I don't really understand that. Maybe I tracked something wrong, but I also, looking back on it, was pretty frugal with my food spending. I also spent very little on entertainment because I did a lot of free things, and the most expensive thing that I did was I went on a guided hike, which was only like 15 euros or something like that, and it pretty much took up my entire day, so I thought that was a pretty good deal. Germany, I was just with my family, chilling. Portugal, I expected to be more expensive, and so I was okay with it being more expensive because we stayed in an Airbnb, in Lagos we ate out a lot so yes it was more expensive but it was a fun time so you just have to pick and choose finally in Barcelona I spent a bit more on my accommodation than I had planned but I really liked the hostel that I was staying at and I also spent a lot less on food than I thought I would so that kind of balanced out at the end of the spreadsheet I made a separate tracker for medical expenses because I was not expecting to be spending like eight to nine hundred dollars for a measly hospital visit and also supposedly my travel insurance will pay for that but I'm still waiting so so all in all I want to preface this by saying this is probably an estimate because literally as I was filming this video I remembered one expense that I did not track I was like I'm pretty sure I visited a video game exhibition and I just didn't write that down so take this with a grain of salt I'm just a beginner traveler and also I was much better at keeping up with this at the beginning than I was by the end of the trip it's just like a new year's resolution okay after all these disclaimers all in all, I spent about $2,150. That includes all my pre-departure expenses like the backpack and the travel insurance, but not the medical expenses because again, supposedly I will get that back. But yeah, I really like this system and I'm really excited to use it on other trips now that I feel more comfortable with it, more confident. Maybe I won't forget to track things next time. If you think my system is a good system and you want to try it, you can obviously make this format yourself. It's pretty simple, but I also created a downloadable template that you can use so that you can start off with a foundation and then customize it for the specific kind of trip that you're taking. I think this kind of format is especially helpful for longer trips where you're visiting multiple cities because each city has different costs and so you're going to want to budget different for each city. You can download the spreadsheet from the link in the description. You'll just have to put in your email and then you'll instantly get a link to it. I hope the spreadsheet helps you. I hope the video helps you. I hope you're having a good day. Please give this video a like and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you next week. Bye!